Discussion on Cardiac Implantable Electronic Devices or CIED as seen on chest x-ray. Cardiac pacemakers were the earliest cardiac implantable electronic devices to be used ever since the first implant in 1958. This image shows a single chamber pacemaker with pulse generator and lead, two electrodes for stimulation, a proximal ring electrode and a distal tip electrode are seen towards the apex of the right ventricle. The pulse generator is seen in the right pectoral region. The lead is coursing through the right subclavian vein into the superior vena cava. From superior vena cava, it reaches the right ventricle through the right atrium. A star Edwards prosthetic aortic valve with three struts and a sewing ring is also seen within the cardiac shadow. Chest X-ray showing a single chamber pacemaker with a screw in lead kept on the septal aspect of the right ventricle. Septal pacing on the right ventricular outflow region may give a narrower QRS complex with better left ventricular synchrony. A narrower QRS reduces the long term chance of left ventricular dysfunction which is a downside of right ventricular apical pacing. It may be noted that lead tip is located higher than in the previous case. This image shows a dual chamber pacemaker with a right atrial lead and a right ventricular lead. In this case, the pacemaker pulse generator was implanted in the left pectoral region. The leads traverse the left subclavian vein and left brachiocephalic vein to reach the superior vena cava. The atrial lead is a J-shaped lead and tip is usually located in the right atrial appendage. The right ventricular lead was placed at the right ventricular apex. Chest X-ray showing implantable cardioverted defibrillator with two high voltage electrode coils and two pacing electrodes. ICD is an implantable device which can treat both brady and tachyarrhythmias. If it detects significant bradycardia, it gives backup pacing signals. If a ventricular tachycardia is detected, it tries initially to suppress it by overdrive pacing. If it does not succeed, a direct current internal shock is delivered across the high voltage coils to terminate the arrhythmia. If a very fast ventricular tachycardia which is life threatening or a ventricular fibrillation is detected, the device straight away gives a direct current shock to terminate the arrhythmia. One high voltage coil is in the superior vena cava while another one is seen in the right ventricle. Two pacing electrodes are seen beyond the high voltage coil in the right ventricle. This is a single chamber ICD. A dual chamber ICD will have an additional atrial lead which is useful in sensing atrial arrhythmias and avoiding inappropriate shocks. Inappropriate shocks are an important disadvantage of the ICD. Cardiac resynchronization therapy is an advanced form of three chamber pacing which is used to synchronize left ventricular contraction in heart failure. Hence they are also known as heart failure devices. An ICD can be included in the device then it will be called CRTD while the plain CRT will be called CRTP. CRTD will have additional high voltage defibrillator coils. CRTP device is seen in this image with one atrial lead and one lead each in the right ventricle and a coronary vein. Electrode in the coronary vein paces the left ventricle epicardially. Since it is a CRTP, no high voltage leads are present. CRTD device will be larger as it requires a larger battery for delivering defibrillator shocks. Two high voltage coils will be seen in CRTD, one placed in the superior vena cava and another in the right ventricle. CRTD is also called a combo device as it is a combination of CRT and ICD. This is a fluoroscopic view of three leads of a CRTP. It shows an atrial lead, a right ventricular lead and a left ventricular lead in the coronary vein. Lead details are seen well on fluoroscopy. Screw-in coil at the tip of the right ventricular electrode is quite evident. 
part of the CRT device is seen in the left upper corner of the image along with redundant lead coils.